Okay, this is a um, transition box drill we do. And uh, we, in this situation, we have 5v5v5, e e uh, three different color teams. And um, we're not going to set them in motion, but what, what you have is a ball served in by the coach. So the coach will serve a ball into one side. All right, so he serves it into the red. Okay, now you can send over two, you can send over three, depending upon what level you're at. Let's send over two to begin with. Uh, so we'll have five versus two, and then the three will stay in the zone, okay? And they will let those two work. So the ball's gonna be knocked around. You got the two guys pressing the ball and sliding and going. And once the ball is won, uh, let's say seven passes is, is accomplished, they have the option to knock the ball across to the other side or you can continue as a coach to let them go another seven and give them a point for every time. Every time they get seven, you get a point, okay? When the white wins the ball and they smash it out or, or the blue make, the red makes a bad pass, the ball goes out, so we'll take the ball out of the picture here. And then the ball goes across now to the blue or the coach can serve a ball into the blue team. And so now what we have, whoever made the bad pass for the red let's say it's him, he has to automatically sprint across uh, with someone else from the red. Okay, now they'll be playing 5v2 against those in the, in the extra whites that were in the neutral zone will now slide back. They're the new five and then the three reds will slide up into the neutral zone. It's kind of like the red zone. Okay, so the, the five, the five, the five attackers right here with a ball well, of course it will be spread out okay they're going to try to get these guys to get stretched and what will happen is if these guys get tired we can tag team they can go you know they go seven passes they don't get the ball they can run another two in all right or we can progress the drill to where we send in three so we might want to go ahead and send in three so let's go ahead and send in another red here because they're possessing all day long so now we got a 5v3 here all right, and he's going to kind of stretch over. And the blue, the blue eventually will progress to knocking the ball to the other side. That's another variation of the drill. So if you got a team that's very skilled and they're knocking around to make it work, everything we do, we want to make sure it works for our team. But bottom line is it's a transition drill to where these guys have to work off the ball. Okay, they're going to transition from offense. And when, when I make a bad pass here, if this guy's the one that makes the bad pass, he has to sprint to the other side. Make him pay for making a bad pass. And when he sprints, two others have to go with him, and that's where communication comes in. Because if these, if these two guys did all the running on the other two or three times, then naturally they're going to say, all right, it's my turn to go over. So they go from it, winning the ball, knocking it around to, I lost the ball, I got to sprint, two guys go with me, and we communicate, et cetera. Coaches get a picture of, there's your zone. Now we can play. We're going to probably go on the field and play 4v4 because of our numbers. You can play 7v7 and open it up a little bit more, make these zones bigger um, to scale and make them knock the ball around. And we can send four across, we can send two across, depending upon what you're working on. And you'll get a better picture of it on the field. But it's a great transition drill because everyone's attacking, everyone's defending, whether they're defenders, midfielders, strikers. Everyone's able to knock the ball around and possess. And of course, everyone's having to pressure. And they're having to pressure together. All right, I can't just have one guy doing all the running and the other guy stays back.